Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm messing with uh, 96 Suburban. Um, last time I messed with this was uh, last fall. To, uh, just see if it would crank up. Uh, it wouldn't crank up, the starter was froze. Uh, I tapped on it, beat on it, tried to get it to, to uh, unseize. Wasn't successful. I come out here, this is July the next year, starts turning over. I don't know. Anyway, this is what we're dealing with here. I'm missing a cap for the brick reservoir. It turns over. Unfortunately, it sounds like the uh, fuel pump is non-existent. And the gauge is all whacked out inside when you turn the key on. So that's kind of an indicator that the uh, fuel pump has left the building. So, But what we're doing now... He's just getting the air cleaner, all this stuff off. I'm going to take this part off so I can get to that box and um, spray some ether in there, see if it takes off when I uh, turn it over. That at least tells me it'll fire. So I had to grab a, a new old battery to put in it. Um, so it turns over. I ought to check for oil, I guess. Well, actually, I did that the other day. It has oil. So. It turns over good, doesn't sound like it's galloping or struggling, but, you know, we'll get into this air cleaner, shoot some ether in it, and see if uh, we get something to happen here. This is going to be a short video, but this is just the first step, and I'm sure about 100,000 to get that Suburban run, so definitely be more videos on this thing uh, moving forward. So, need to actually order some more parts on uh, Amazon, like a spark tester and all that other stuff, just to have what I need, so... All right, well, I now confirmed this thing fires, and by the way, it's the next day, actually. Uh, i got about two hours of work on this, and i got to run to town and get two to three gallons of gas throwing this thing and see if that makes that fuel pump come around. If not, then we're kaput on the fuel pump, like I said earlier. So now that I know this thing fires, i got some parts I need to order, air filter, need to get an oil filter, uh, get this in the level. Um... Just start going through and changing the obvious stuff. I'm going to get new spark plugs for it, I think. Unless I have a hard time trying to get them loose. Um, that probably won't come until I at least get the fuel pump in. And get it to where it runs. Oops. I get the fuel pump in, get it to where it runs. And uh, after you get the engine running and heats up, that helps the spark plugs come out easier when the engine's hot. If not, you break them off in the head, and then you're really in trouble. So, that'll be the step-by-step -step kind of process we want to go through now. Um, it also needs, obviously, as you can tell, this thing needs cleaned up badly. So, we'll go ahead and get all that stuff done, and uh, we'll get it started. Uh, but for now... I think the next step probably is making a list of all the parts that I need. So, I think that'll about wrap it up. There'll be obviously more videos on this coming up because I need to get this thing running pretty soon. I'm running out of time. I'm going to go back to my real job in about four weeks. So, alright guys. Catch you on the next video. God bless. And uh, please like and subscribe if you like what you see. Later.